Let's do it. Yeah. Hi, so um, this is the new Midas HD96. Um, I wanted to just show you a little bit about how I set it up from scratch um, and just building up a, a mix on it. So at the moment I've got a, a file on here for one of the bands that I've been working with and done some shows and using a virtual sound check with, but um, it's probably a good idea to start from scratch. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to quickly show you how I set up a, a, a new show with a band. So. Um, I'll go into show manager then show manager hit new then name my new show um, let's call this Midas test okay and then so that's labeled and then I hit create so then I go click on the show and now we can open that show and it's asking us if we want to keep all the safes from the show um, that's being loaded in or from the current session so if you've got safe you want to go on you can go current but I'm just going to keep all of these settings like this at the moment and we're just going to hit open and this brings up a master scene and then within the master scene just hit go and then it clears all of the channels um, so that we've got a blank scene um, currently I was just in virtual sound check before so I'm just going to take that off And as you can see, all the channels now are just back to their default settings. So one of the first things I'm going to show you is how I'm going to label up the channels for this show. Um, so hit naming, hit my first channel, and then I can use the keyboard to type in all the names. I can also um, colour the drums into whatever colour I want one of these colours. So then I'm going to hit kick out, out, and then colour that. And then go to the next one, snare top, then snare bottom, and so on. And I'll speed this up a bit. Okay, so that's my channels labeled up. Um, then I can go into patching. Um, I've got a D DL251 attached to the desk, um, which is a 48 channel stage box. Um, so I need to add that device so that the desk sees it. So add new device and then auto detect. And that has detected, in fact, it's detected two instances of it because there's two inputs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove one of those and I'm going to edit and make it so that it's all on a dual snake um, so we've got 24 channels on AES50 on front of house 1 and 24 channels on AES50 on front of house 2 there are four AES50 ports on the back of the desk um, and the other two I'm going to be using for virtual playback so these are the generic AES50 boxes. It's already patched in there, part three and four. But if I wanted to edit it, I would just hit this and hit that and then go to three. So then my inputs here from the DL251, I can then go to the inputs on the desk. So one way of doing one to one, uh, like one to one all the way up is you press and hold the first one and then you press 
and hold and then it patches all 48 channels across then if I want to do the virtual sound check so I keep those inputs there again one to one and I go into my generic stage box and that should patch those across that's the virtual playback plugged in and then the returns of that we need to come back into the tape returns here so one to one one to one and then the second AES card one to one there we go so that's the um, virtual playback plugged in and also the channels plugged in one to one um, as I said the way to do individual channels you can just hit single channels and then decide where you want them to go okay so now I've patched the inputs and labeled up my channels um, I'm going to set up uh, the effects so the way we do that we go into the effects rack then we add new effect so let's say we want to add a reverb so I'm going to add the VS S3 add effect then I can select what auxiliary sound I want it on I'm going to send it in stereo I'm going to assign that send oh I've got it yeah that's right and I've got to sign it and so that's going to aux1 and aux2 and then I've added to the send then for the return it gives me the options of starting from channel 49 onwards so I'm going to hit 49 and then I'm going to make that stereo so that'll make it 49 and 50 and then assign the return there we'll label these up in a minute so then I'm going to add another effect so let's say let's add a drum reverb so I'll go reverb um, I quite like the plate reverbs for that add effect then again it asks me where I want to put it so I'll put it into the next auxiliary sand assigned to send and then we go it automatically ignores the previous two channels because it knows I've already sent something there so then I go to stereo then assign the return then what I'm going to do is then just for the sake of argument add a delay into here so we're going to add the 2290 add that effect and I go to add 5 and then I'm going to go and make it stereo again assign to insert and then select the return which will be 53 and 54 so that'll be stereo so then assign the return so then what I can do is go back to my channel view and so I can flick through either the inputs here um, until I get to 49 and 51 so this is where they've already stereoed up you can see it's 49, 51, 52 so 49 so then I can label it by hitting this button here so this will be Vox reverb and then I will color that and then this one will be drum reverb uh, oh sorry I meant to color that as well so I'll color that slightly different and then this one will be delay these are my returns okay so then if we go for our sends these are the outputs so aux 1 3 and 5 are already showing as stereos so again I can label these up as well so that I know what those sends are for you'll see why in a minute might be drum reverb That one will be delay. And this is the same way you can set up monitor sends as well. Um, okay, so there's my outputs, and then I go back to my inputs. And a quick way on the touch the screen can bring me back to the original ones. In this section, we have all the channel input stuff. So we've got a trim, a gain, um, you can delay the input. Um, we can also uh, add the phantom power here, phase reverse. And it shows you where which buses we're going to so we're going through the main bus at the moment this is a mono channel the quick way to make it stereo would be hit the button there but we won't don't need that at the moment 
We can also look at the gates here and the compression here and the EQ. And then here are the sends. And now you can see that sends one, two and three, well, one and two, three and four, five and six are already labeled up um, because we labeled them over here. We're saying, let's go to the, save the snare. And then we want to put drum reverb on it. We hit that one there and then we can just turn up that dial in the drum reverb like that and say so then we go with the vocals so we can then go to the vocal reverb here and send there and do the same there and we can do the same there and also maybe we might want to put a bit of delay on the main vocal so i can send that up there now what i want to be able to do is utilize this right hand side of the desk as well um, I like to set it up so I've got my channels on this side and my VCAs on here or even the outputs. So the way we do that is we go into navigation and then within that side of it we can select different options of layouts. So there are like an HD24 layout, a Pro Series mode layout, the different configurable layouts as well that you can make for your individual ones. I've got this one here at the moment which makes um, this bank area B. So if we grab and hold that and put it down here we'll do that and then and when we hit the home button so um, what I'm going to do now is set up a pop group so I can assign stuff to the area B here the way to set a pop group is you press and hold the button then all of these channels come up so in this pop group I want it to be specifically for area B to show the VCAs so I'm going to have one two three four five six seven Eight, and make that area B. So we close that, and then there they go. They pop up on that side there. So with those VCAs, I'm going to label them up. Press the first one, and I can pull up the name here. And then, so this will be my drums. And this one will be my bass, so I meant to colour the drums red, so we can do that by going red, and this one's going to be guitars, this one will be tracks, this one will be BVs, This one can be main vocal. Yeah, and this one can be, it will be an effects return. And then I'm going to make this one all. So this is now my VCAs. So the way to then select stuff to go into the VCA, so you press and hold the VCA, and then you can assign the channels that you want to go into that VCA. Assign that all VCA. And then for the effects, we can assign that. So then we'd go to the second layer, so then that here. And that's all of the VCAs assigned now as well. And then let's just label this pop group um, VCAs. So when I hit that, the VCAs appear on that side. Um, I like to have uh, these pop groups for my band as well. So I'm going to have say, for example, a pop group that says band. And then this one could be, say, um, a vocal group. And within that group, you press and hold it. And then we can add the vocals. And we could also have the effects on this page as well. 
for the vocals. So then I've got my band here and my vocals here. Uh, but sometimes what I like to do is have the whole band so instead of so it's just no drums. And a quick way of doing that is to empty the group and start again. So I can go bass, guitar, guitar, vocal, 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 and the effects. Um, you can also move these around if you so wish by dragging and dropping them. But I'm happy with that order for now. So yeah, so I've got the band here. And then the section with the vocals and the effects there as well. So um, I may on this one put in might as well because it's less than all the channels. I can then add in the vocals in here. And then maybe on the very end I'll just put in the main vocal reverb as well. Um, yeah. So there we go. So that's showing the VCA. That's all my band there. I've got my whole show here. If I decided to want to get into the other effects I can do it here. Um, and then the other thing I can do on this side is it say if I want to make this an area B pop group, hit that, and then I could do my monitor sends here. So and within the monitor sends I can then do my outputs. So I could go with all the remaining effects. So like seven, eight, nine, and ten could be my four monitor mixes. I can close that so I can hit that, and then the monitor mixes will appear here. And again press and hold that and then label it stage right monitor this can be center monitor this one can be stage left monitor keep forgetting to change the color and this one could be say drum monitor okay so then so now I've got my VCA set here Got my drum sense, my monitor sense there. Put these up. So that would be my sands. And then when I hit the um, select buttons on these and I'm in flip mode, this can now be my fader flip to monitors. So let me say, so say this is my band mix, and I hit that. Stage right monitor, I could have my stage right vocal in there and maybe some kick drum, something like that. Then center vocal maybe the center vocal, maybe a little bit of the BVs and whatever you want to put in there, but that's what how the flip mode works. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a um, stereo compressor over the left and right. So if we go into dynamics, all these different choices of compressors, so I'm going to take the uh, bus compressor, add that effect, make it on an insert, put it over the left and right, and then assign that. So what I'm going to do now is um, add a graphic to the uh, left and right. So another way we can do this, we can go to the channel. So we're in channel view. We can select the left and right. Then we want to. We've got the compressor here. And um, we're going to add in another effect. So let's add a new effect here. This is another way to do it. Graphic EQ, add the effect. And that's in there now. And that's already in on those channels. And then with that graphic, yeah, we can adjust the levels here. We can do multiple if you'd want to do that. So now we've got a compressor across the left and right. I'm um, just going to change those settings so that I um, have a slow attack, which I can do here. And one shot pots. Do like that. And then there's also a blend. So there's, you can do like side chain compression. So I'll probably set that around about that. Um, there is an effects mode as well that you can put on. And that will then bring up whichever insert point that you want to, to, to come up. So then when you automatically hit it, it will bring up the insert that's on there. Another thing I'd like doing is on the bass guitar, um, because it's just the DI, I'm going to add in a rack amp, add that there. That's now on the insert here. I can also select a cabinet simulator as well. And then after that, another thing we like to do is add another sub slot here 
So we'll go for uh, the enlightened base and effect. And that's also on the base as well. So that adds a, lo a load of sub on the bottom end of that. So we've got our band here, vocals here, our monitor sends on this side, and then our VCA is on this side as well. So then they've got the whole show all on one. So that's how I set up the show. I can then create a scene for this so we can store it into, um, so we can create a new scene. So that's this session stored into that scene. The way to label that is you have to go into automation, then hit the scene name. So this will be show start and store options again, so then current scene. So now that store is complete. There is an auto save mode as well, and it's already saving into the main show. Um, and that's not everything that it does, but that's just a basic start. Um, oh, you can adjust your, go through this section here, and you can adjust your gains here, and your phantom power can be switched on and off here, or you can go your high pass filter, and the high pass can be switched on and off, you can adjust it here. And there's a DFA section uh, for fun, and then there's a pan, and then you, you assign to the stereo in that section. Um, so that's it for now. If anyone's interested in anything else, um, let me know, put it in the comments, and maybe I'll make a video about that, about how to use the more in-depth um, settings on the desk. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, see you again.